is going to be an energy reading for Virgo. If you are a Virgo, this energy reading is going to be for you, beloved. All right? Someone, you could be on a break from someone or someone may want to take a break. This could be someone you're in separation with or you're about to become into a separation. This is someone who's conflicted, confused about some things. Maybe they need to clear their mind. Okay. Maybe they're worried about sabotaging a situation or maybe they've already sabotaged a situation with you. I don't know. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? This could be someone who has other interests. That could be causing the confliction, confusion, or they may feel like you have other interests. Okay, but take that how it resonates for you. But well, let's see, for Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know? For Virgo spirit, what does Virgos need to know? I ask my higher self, the most high and the ascendant masters. They have me some sort of reading. All right, Virgs. 101 can be significant. Okay, at the bottom of the day, we got fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay. Behind there is stay at home. Fatal events, possible injury, watch your back. Okay, somebody could be dealing with a scandalous hope. Okay, not so classy, sneaky as fuck, or wants to use you. Okay, something could have happened. Maybe a possible in uh, injury. Okay, or someone feels like they have to watch their back. The number five can be significant. Five, five, five. So let's see. For Virgo spirit, what does Virgos need to know? You guys have situationship. Let's keep it a secret. Sneaky linking, not getting anywhere. So someone could be dealing with uh, Jezebel spirit. Okay, this could be someone that's they're in a situationship with. Okay, that they're keeping secret, sneaky linking with. Okay, but it's not going to go anywhere. So let's see. For Virgo, you guys have a warning. Be careful, controlling, abusive, or possessive. Don't always think straight. Oh, we Virgs. Okay, y'all might have to be mindful. I don't know if this is someone who's trying to put you in a situation ship and sneaky link with you, or they sneaky linking with somebody who was just a bail spirit. This person could be a just a bail spirit. Take it how it resonates for you. But y'all are receiving a warning. This is a warning. Okay, this could be someone who's very controlling, abusive, or possessive. Okay, let's see. For Virgos, what does Virgo need to know? For Virgos, you guys have self-reflection, needs isolation, praying and meditation, spiritual gifts. You could be coming into alignment. Okay, or trying to stay balanced. You may need to isolate yourself from a situation. This could be you. Maybe you need some time and space away from somebody. They could be confused in a situation or sabotaging a situation with you because they're dealing with hopes. Okay. But definitely pray. Okay, you might need to meditate. You could be tapping into your spiritual gifts. Let's see one more. For Virgo spirit, what does Virgos need to know? You guys have... The answer is a no. The answer is no. <laughs> That's what spirit said. Maybe you're meditating on a decision. You could have been conflicted about a situation, okay, that somebody was sabotaging. You could be meditating and realizing the answer is no. Okay, at the bottom of the day, we got family issues. This could be someone you're co-parenting with. Okay, family issues says co-parenting, co child support, drama, and conflict. Okay, this is someone else who's having co-parenting issues with another. Someone who they have on child support or somebody who's full of drama and conflict. Okay, behind there is I want to marry you and sense of humor. So this could be someone who wants to commit to a connection with you or contemplating about it. Or this is someone you wanted to marry that you were contemplating on marriage with. Okay. And someone could have a sense of humor. There could also be someone who likes you in your energy. Oh, behind there is I love you. Feeling complete. Showing affection. Honeymoon phase. And then falling in love is behind there. So you do have somebody who likes you. Who has feelings for you. This could be that person who has a sense of humor. Who wants to marry you. But then you got a baby father or a baby mother in your energy. Who you need to turn down. They could be codependent. Codependent. I didn't mean to say that. But there could be codependent, codependency issues. But there could be co-parenting issues. Okay. Child support. Somebody could be taking someone to child support. Okay. Someone could be causing drama and conflict. Okay. Let's see. 
Pluto in the deck for Virgos. You guys have the King of Wands in the Tower card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Scorpio energy is significant. There's going to be some type of tower. Some type of upheaval. Okay, something that was built on a faulty foundation is coming crumbling down. I see the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can be healing from a situation. Okay, maybe you're realizing that something was built on a faulty foundation. Somebody hasn't been putting in the work. Okay, Capricorn energy when it comes to trying to build something solid with you. Okay, but I'm also seeing someone with romantic feelings for you and your energy as well. So let's see. For Virgo, what does Virgos need to know? For Virgo spirit, what does Virgos need to know? At the bottom of the day, you guys have the two of wands. So you have a choice in path here. Okay, when it comes to a king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. We got Aries energy here. Virgo, Gemini energy. There could be someone who's emotionally maturing your energy. Okay, who's manifesting you. So you definitely need to reflect when it comes to what direction you want to go in, what path you want to choose. Okay, let's see. For Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know? We got a chariot card here. Someone could want to travel towards you. Or this could be you changing your direction, your focus. Okay, being redirected to choose a different path. We have the Six of Cups here, Scorpio energy. There could be a bit of nostalgia. Maybe it's someone that you grew up with or um, someone from your past who wants to head towards you. Okay, but I'm seeing a lesson here with the Horrific card, Taurus energy. We got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Be mindful of someone being married. Now this could be an ex-wife, doesn't have to be, but definitely use your discernment. Okay, when it comes to the lesson that you're learning, because I feel like there's a lesson that you're going to be learning that's going to help you to choose a different path, to change your direction and your focus when it comes to what you're manifesting with the Magician card here, Virgo, Gemini energy. Okay, heavy Gemini energy. We got the Tower card here. Some type of unexpected change has happened. Someone's experiencing some type of upheaval or they're headed towards an upheaval. This could be someone who's full of drama who's coming towards you to bring you some type of drama. Okay, I do see you overcoming, overcoming it because the chariot card is about triumphing. Okay, overcoming the tower card could also be you overcoming some type of um challenge. Okay, so let's see. So, Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know? You guys have the son of coins here, it came out a challenging position. You could be working hard on trying to create some type of stability for yourself. But then there's somebody who's lazy and don't want to work in your energy. Okay. We got the three of coins in, in the challenging position. I definitely see you hard at work. Okay. Someone may want to work things out with you. But it's right under it's a no. So spirit is saying you might have to choose a different path. Change your direction. Your focus when it comes to trying to work things out with somebody. This could be someone who is out of work. Don't want to work. Or don't work well with others. There also could be some type of in-group conflict. Okay. Things might not be working out with someone else that they're in a commitment with. Okay. And now they want to come over there and work, try to work things out with you. Let's see. We have the five of wands. They've been arguing. They've been fighting. They've been dealing with drama. Somebody mad because things ain't working out with somebody. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be someone who's full of drama. Okay, trust your intuition. Pisces, Cancer, energy. Someone could be an Aries, Pisces, cusp. Leo, Cancer, cusp. Okay, Sagittarius, Capricorn, cusp. We got the strength card here. Leo, energy. Someone is envious of your strengths. I don't know if this is an ex of somebody's or your ex. But somebody is envious of your strength, of your power. Okay. We got the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be a younger fire sign. Or this is just someone who's very childish. I also see you receiving good news when it comes to you putting in the hard work and dedication towards your work. Okay. And that's the truth. Truth and clarity. You might also receive some type of truth or receive clarity about a situation that's not working out. Someone might want to tell you their truth about something not working out with someone else that they've been having some type of conflict with, arguing and fighting with. 
We got the two of wands here, but you're gonna have a choice. That's where that choice comes in. And what path you wanna go down? Do you wanna try to work things out with somebody that things didn't work out with? Okay, or do you wanna choose a different path? Okay, we got the eight of coins here. I do see you working on yourself, building on a skill of craft. You could be working towards building abundance. Okay, and then you have a king of wands in your energy, Aries Leo Sag, who wants to make progress with you. Okay, this is someone who wants your attention. Okay, or somebody's wanting this person's attention. We got the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be mindful of someone trying to come in and start an argument with you. Okay. Could be a Queen of Swords, a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a Leo. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Capricorn. Okay. But there's somebody who want to argue and fight with you or literally fight you. Okay. So be mindful. Okay. So this could be someone who is lusting over somebody who wants to work things out with you. Okay, let's see. You could be already healing from this situation too. Okay, but somebody wants to give you, so someone wants to bring you some type of drama. That's what they're manifesting. They're trying to manifest having some type of drama with you. This is two feminines. Okay, you either date another feminine or this is an ex. This is a, a um, ex of yours is ex or ex of, well, ex of yours who they dealing with. I don't know, y'all. Take it out for you. Okay, but somebody want to fight you, Virgo. We got the Six of Swords here. Aquarius energy, but I see you moving on from this. You know, you're moving on beyond the drama. You ain't with the drama. You're trying to live a life of ease. Okay? And when it comes to you making healthier choices in love, somebody wants to deceive you. This is someone who's lying about a relationship or a connection that they're in. Okay, the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. It's the Eight of Swords. Someone could be in their head overthinking a lot about some type of truth that they want to tell you. This could be about a choice that they made in love. We got that um, Daughter of Wands right here. So someone could have been sneaky linking okay, with somebody younger than them. lying about it or lying about having a relationship with them or lying about having a relationship with you basically putting you in some type of competition causing conflict okay this could be someone who sent you as competition okay we got the ten of baskets here definitely someone you have kids with this person may make you happy or you're just moving into a life of ease you're living a life of ease you know you can maybe be in a new relationship for some Okay, happy, getting a feeling of belonging. This, or this is a path that you have a choice to go down. You can go down a path where you can be in a relationship with somebody who has romantic feelings for you, where you can get a feeling of belonging, y'all can live a life at ease. Or you can go down this path full of drama. Two of these paths is being manifested. So it's about you. You have that choice. You have the upper hand, Virgo. So soul research, go within Virgo energy when it comes to the choice that you want to go down. Because I see you working on receiving even reciprocity and having victory and success when it comes to a commitment. And this could be um, a business plan, um, committed to your work, or you committed towards getting a feeling of belonging, living a life of ease, and being happy. Okay, you're going to have a choice because somebody's trying to deceive you. Okay, they don't want you to see clearly about who it is they've been working and collabing with. Okay, you might even learn about someone having a baby on the way. With the daughter of knives here and the empress, or somebody's been studying you, okay, watching you. This could be somebody's baby's mother, okay. Pisces energy, Cancer energy, Aquarius energy, heavy Pisces. Someone could be curvy, someone could be short. I'd be mindful because whoever this is has been studying you and watching you, they got knives behind their back, like they showing a knife, okay, like they, you know. I'm, I'm putting the sword down, but they're not putting the sword down. They got knives behind their back. Strapped on to them. <laughs> okay? I don't know. It's kind of giving me like someone wants to watch you to see some type of way they could attack you. And be mindful of someone trying to attack you on a sneak, like sneaking you, snagging you. I'm seeing that too. Okay? What the heck? What is going on in y'all energy today? We got the moon card here. Whoever this is, they got secret animosity towards you. Maybe you know it ain't a secret. You possibly know that this person got animosity towards you. Okay. Somebody coming in ready to box. I'm seeing some hands up. What is going on, Virgos? What is going on? What is going on? Somebody's coming in ready to box. 
Okay. They could be believing someone's lies. Maybe someone was keeping a secret, creating illusions out of doubts or fears or wanting someone to doubt or fear leaving someone behind or moving on from somebody to make healthier choices in love. This could be someone you need to set boundaries with or that you have set boundaries with. Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy. Or somebody ready to sneak in and snake you. That's what I'm seeing. So you're going to have a choice, okay? Because you definitely need to set boundaries with an individual who you could have some type of connection with. And it can feel like a soulmate connection. But it's time to uh, release this. Let it go. Okay? Somebody could be dealing with somebody very uh, greedy, materialistic. Okay? We got the temperance card and the son of knives here. Sagittarius energy. Trust in divine timing because somebody's coming in to communicate to you. But I'll be mindful because it could be lies. And I feel like you see clearly. You're going to see the truth. Or you need to do your research and educate yourself, Empress Energy, when it comes to somebody who's going to communicate to you. Okay, I feel like this is someone you had a lot of patience for. But you have to set some type of boundaries or you have set some type of boundaries with this person. We got the four of coins in reverse. Someone could be releasing somebody very greedy. This could be you. You could have found out that somebody was dealing with somebody greedy or this person was very greedy or materialistic. Okay, whoever this player is with the son of knives here, son of, son of wands, son of knives is right here. So someone's ready to take action towards you fast. It could be fast communication or someone rushing you. Like, rushing you. Y'all be mindful. Okay. Sagittarius energy. Someone's there for a good time and a long time. Somebody could have been sneaky linking with somebody too and got them pregnant. Someone may learn this and be ready to fight somebody because they found out about a secret pregnancy. Okay. Oh, wait. Trust your intuition. Okay. Because somebody's definitely manifesting to have some type of fight or argument or disagreement with you. We have the two of swords here. You're going to have a decision to make. Okay, someone could be stalling the situation by lying, by keeping secrets because they don't want someone to see the truth. Okay, someone could be blind to a truth because someone's been lying so much. Okay, creating an illusion with the Seven of Cups here, Scorpio energy. That's also about choices too. So y'all gonna have a choice when it comes to love. And one of these choices you're gonna have to set boundaries with if you wanna be able to come into a soulmate union with somebody who's gonna really make you happy and give you a feeling of belonging. Okay. We have the devil card here. And one of these people's options is a karmic. And one of these options that you have, these choices that you have is a karmic. Capricorn energy. Someone is stuck between their higher self and their lower self. Someone also could have a drinking addiction. Okay, this could be someone who stays up all night drinking. Okay. Someone also may need to learn how to practice more discipline. This could be someone with um, a sex addiction. Okay, this could be someone who has many options and a lot of their options are karmic. They got a divine feminine over here who somebody wants, one of these karmics want to rush on, want to come fight. And then they got... A karmics over here today having you know zigs with possibly pillow talking to okay let's see for virgos you guys have a lot of cups here you have an opportunity to find film within yourself i'm also seeing sexual pleasure someone needs to um practice that in moderation okay i don't know if somebody got confused for sex for love but Mm -hmm. Somebody's also dealing with somebody very delusional. Okay, this could be that person who want to fight you. Somebody could be telling somebody uh, telling somebody lies, geeking their head up with the lies. Got them ready to, to, to come at you some type of way while you focusing on finding fulfillment within yourself. Okay, I feel like you see the red flags or you will see the red flags. We got warning here. So pay attention to the red flags on the northern red flags. Don't have them come back and bite you in your ass later, Virgo. Okay. We got the six of wands here because I definitely see you making progress when it comes to going towards what will emotionally fulfill you. What will make you happy? Okay. Let's see for Virgo spirit. What does Virgos need to know? 
for Virgo spirit. What does Virgos need to know? We got the Ace of Cups. It landed on top of the Seven of Cups. So someone definitely needs to release. That's the Eight of Cups. Somebody needs to release a karmic emotionally. Somebody needs to let go of, and it could be you. You could be emotionally tied to somebody who's very karmic in your life, who's holding on to other karmics. Like this person could be divine, but they're stuck in between whether or not they want to go in a south node or in the north node. One of y'all could feed their higher self. One of y'all could feed their lower self. So use your discernment. Okay, because you're manifesting a path to two directions. Which way do you want to go? Which path do you want to go down? Do you want to go down the road full of drama? Or do you want to go down the road full of happiness and love and, you know, you birthing something new, you creating new things? I'm also seeing a new baby here. Whether that's you, you just had a new baby, you pregnant with a baby, or somebody else is. Flip switch the roles. Take out resonates for you. <clears throat> Okay, but I'm seeing a new beginning in love. Someone could be going through a heart chakra awakening. Okay, making progress when it comes to finding fulfillment within themselves. We got the star card healing. I feel like you're you're definitely healing, Empress, from somebody who's been in and out of your life and they're ready to rush back in. But then they rushing in with a drama or somebody who's full of drama. Okay. This could be baby mama drama because we have family issues, co-parenting, child support, drama, and conflict. This could be someone with baby mama or baby daddy drama. Okay, we got the hermit card. Definitely go with them when it comes to releasing. Y'all need to release somebody emotionally. There's somebody you have emotional tie to. Okay, I don't know if y'all are emotionally codependent because I, I said codependency is earlier. Y'all could be emotionally codependent on this person. Maybe you're learning how to find fulfillment within yourself, pour more into self, love self more. Okay, you be on a self-love healing journey. As you soul search and go within about somebody who's very karmic in your life. Okay, you could be alchemizing this situation. You've been receiving signs and synchronicities about this. I also seen the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. You could be recalling your power back from a situation. Okay, standing in your power. And somebody is envious and jealous of your strength, of your confidence, of your attraction. Okay, could be a fire sign in Aries Leo Sage. Could be could, for some this is a Virgo, for others this is a, a Pisces. Um, could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Scorpio. Okay, that betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. This could be someone who talked a lot of shit about you. To Karmics, it's giving pillow talker. This is a pillow talker. Somebody been out here sleeping with scandalous hell because we had that in the beginning. Okay, and whoever this is. They, they've been out here doing a smear campaign, talking about you. Okay. This is someone who's emotionally selfish, greedy. Okay. And y'all have an opportunity to go into even reciprocity. So meditate with the four swords here. You may also need some more rest when it comes to making progress in your self-love healing journey. I also see you breaking a generational curse. Also be mindful. Okay. When it comes to family members, because you can even have a family member in your energy who's trying to play you. Okay, have you in your head? Have you overthinking a lot? Okay, I also see you healing the mind. So if you have been in your head about some things, you're going through a mind expansion. And we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius energy. Then you got somebody else in your energy who's going through karma. What a karmic. Okay, and I see this cycle closing out with the world card here. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you have an opportunity to go towards someone who's emotionally mature, very loving. Someone who wants to reconcile with you. Okay, this could be someone who wants a new passion in the beginning, who wants to balance things out. But be mindful of someone being married who's feeling way down and stressed, trying to come towards you. This is someone who's very controlling, possessive, obsessive. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who wants to, um, who did something foolish, who wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but they stand disappointed, okay, about some type of communication. So somebody received some type of communication that now has them said. Someone's trying to uh, control the outcome of a situation. Now they walking on eggshells, feeling way down when it comes to somebody they live with, are married to, or somebody in their community or yours. Okay, this could be someone that they juggled you with that they were having sex with. Okay. Someone might even get communication about an illness, being sick. Okay, having to take something for an illness. All right. 
I'm also seeing someone being left out in the cold for you to go towards even reciprocity. And as you reflect, I see you self-assessing, going within, Scorpio energy, receiving enlightenment about a situation that you need to surrender to the divine. Okay, as you work on yourself, work on choosing peace and happiness. You can be staying positive and optimistic as you work on yourself, as you work on getting this change perspective. So this person may need to reframe, retrain the mind. Okay, but I definitely see you going through a mind expansion that's helping you to reframe, retrain the mind to think more positively. Okay, and things are balancing out. Someone also could be dealing with legality. Something could be getting exposed in a court case. Okay, we're just going to have somebody get blocked or have you help to protect your energy from the King of Wands, the Aries, Leo, Sag. This is someone who's non-committal. It could be an ex of yours with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who wants to present you with an opportunity. But I see distance put... I'm seeing distance put between you and this person because they were playing mind games, caused confusion, wanted you to be conflicted, or they put distance between y'all two because they were conflicted, confused because they had somebody playing mind games with them, flip switch the roles, take a high resonates for you, Virgo, okay, Aquarius energy, this could be a baby's father, father figure, or a husband, or earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you could be choosing to become single from, okay, with a knot of coins here. I see a new love relationship here with the Son of Baskets. Heavy Scorpio energy. But you got to end things with somebody. You could be contemplating on ending things with somebody, but it's time to end things with somebody. Endings bring new beginnings. I also see a change of transformation when it comes to your love relationships. You've been receiving signs and synchronicities about that with the uh, daughter Baskets here. Someone may also want to apologize too. This could be someone who's finding out the truth about somebody who's trying to play mind games with them. With the Three of Swords, a Queen of Wands, the Aries, Leo, Sage. This could be someone who's bitter and heartbroken, aggressive, demanding, okay? And for some reason, this bitter bitch want to fight you. And I really feel like the person who want to apologize is the same person who was pillow talking to this person about you. And you could be receiving sign synchronicities about this. Especially if somebody always trying to come and start drama with you or, you know, sees you as um competition or, you know, has secret animosity towards you. It's because somebody been in their ear okay telling them something about you to have them feel some type of way about you okay it's kind of giving somebody wants somebody to fight over them that's just giving somebody wants somebody to fight over them they want you and possibly another baby mama 27 27 on timestamp or you and somebody who they've been sleeping with married to or whatever they want to bring that drama towards you so that y'all can fight over them it's a hell no look the answer is a no spirit said the answer is a no i mean you have free will you do what you want but in the end, I see y'all saying, no, turn this person down. Okay. Yeah. And we had warning right in the middle of this. Be careful. Because somebody is dealing with someone who's very controlling, abusive, and possessive. Okay. This is someone who likes having sneaky links. They like having third parties. Okay. That's why they having issues. They trying to break up families instead of bringing their family together. And if this is somebody where you they baby mama and they got another baby mama and they want their baby mamas to fight against them against each other, that ain't how it's supposed to go. Y'all supposed to be working things out, working together so that y'all can co-parent. But they want y'all to be emotionally codependent on them so that they y'all will fight over this person. Uh uh with they messy ass. They messy. Okay? But that is the energy reading for Virgos.